TCS NQD 2025. It is not just the interview or it's the test, but it is all about two years of your hard work and preparations and coding and aptitude practices. It all the things will be judged in just your 20 minutes of your interview. Correct? Yes. Now, in this video, I'm going to tell you some truth that nobody talks about. I am nearly working in TCS for a digital profile for three years. So whatever I'm going to speak today, it not at all will be a scripted. It's everything will be from my experience, right? So I'm going to talk about those things that will decide whether you will walk into the interview room as a panicked candidate or as a prepared warrior. So I highly request you to stay till the end of this video so that for sure this video will help you before you walk out for the interview. It's my guarantee. I'm going to talk about three important accepts of this interview that every candidate should look after it before you go on to the interview. So I'm Pramod Bosley working in TCS for nearly three years now. Just in case if you're new to my channel, do subscribe to the channel so that I can help you to kickstart your career. Now let's get started straight to the points. First one, clarity on the basic fundamental, right? I know that there are so many people are there who are supposed to give the interview. And do you know what they think of? They always think of, oh, I'm really good in AI. I want to build the project of ML. I, I have done the course on the data center. You are talking about such big things, but ask yourself how good you are in terms of basic fundamentals of computer science. Are you really good with the databases? Are you really good with any of the programming languages? Are you really good with operating systems and data subjects. Hell no. There are so many people who don't even know the fundamentals or the basics of these subjects. And you know what? Most people, most companies don't expect a big things from you. They only expect how good you are in the basics so that they can train you in less amount of time. So make sure that whatever the subjects I'm going to talk about, clear with the basic fundamentals. They don't want the advanced topic. They want a basic. Number one, if you're preparing Java programming language, you should be thoroughly clear with the collections in java right what is the difference between the hash map and the tree map what is set what is array list what is array dq you should know all the internal working and what are some functions that is used to implement these things if you are using c plus plus learn the oops concept understand every single thing not just by theoretical point of view but from the conceptual technical and from practical point of view operating system understand what are the different types of operating systems you have what do you mean by deadlock what are the difference between a process and the program what are the different types of scheduling algorithms all these things are really matter not only for tcs but believe me this is applicable for all the companies which are visiting to your campus right so these are the basic fundamentals first thing that you need to take care of point number two that is projects now there are so many people here who have done the projects and of course you have kept one or two or three projects on your resume always remember two things number one if you are unable to explain your project clearly to the interviewer you will get for sure rejected because you are saying that you have done this project and now when they are asked to explain your project you are not at all able to explain then what is the use of doing that project so always remember whenever you are trying to explain your project always explain your project in this format first point what is your project second point which problem you solve third point which technology you use to solve that problem fourth point what was your role compulsory mention your role at the last so that the questions on your projects will be exactly related to your role rather than getting the questions on whole project. Now, if you want to know how to detail way to explain your project, I have already made a video on it. You can find the link in the description box. And the third important point that is HR question. Now see, there are so many people are here who ignore the HR questions or they take it lightly and they answer anything. For example, if someone asks you, hey, may I know what are your weaknesses? You simply tell, I get angry. I have a bad handwriting. I don't have patience. These are my weakness. But do you think that these answers really make any impact on the interviewer? Hell no. While explaining your interviewer, what are your weaknesses? Remember these three points. First, explain what are your weakness. Second, explain what actions you are taking to overcome that weakness. And third point, explain because of your weakness, is there any effect on the company's work? For example, handwriting is my biggest weakness, but I'm practicing it on daily basis to overcome it. Since most of the company's work is carried out through the mail, I can sure shot say that my weakness will not hamper any company's work. See, I covered three points, but most important thing to remember here is that I covered it in less than three sentences. Don't just 
expand your answer for 5 to 10 minutes not at all length right so these are the most important things what i have discussed till now regarding the technical interview and the hr interview and the projects now listen to me carefully now now what i'm going to talk about is what mistakes basically most people do during a time of interview and do you know what is the one big thing happens during a time of interview we don't have the presence of mind because of course 90% of the students are getting scared during a time of interview they are not at all aware about what they are speaking during a time of interview and they feel like i have answered all the questions but i haven't got select are there are some reason that is the reason why you are not getting selected right now let's go and check what are the mistake most people do during a time of interview mistake number 1 talking too much this is a habit of mostly 90 to 95% of the students doing over engineering what do you mean by the question is asked about something related but you are explaining so much things which is at all not needed avoid this we think that we are explaining too much which means interviewer might be impressed with us no interviewer will never be impressed by you if you are trying to explain too much or you are trying to explain the things which is not been asked for example if interviewer ask you what do you mean by polymorphism simply tell them what do you mean by polymorphism don't explain what is method overloading what is method overriding what is virtual function they haven't asked you they simply ask you what is polymorphism so just tell the polymorphism right so avoid this talking too much mistake number 2 that is bragging or baffling now hey pramod what do you mean by bragging and baffling we are hearing this first time i don't worry let me explain you of course you might be so confident in some of the subjects some people say that i'm really expert in data structures i'm really expert in my project i'm expert in javascript but if interviewer ask you the questions you are not at all able to answer some basic questions basic question why because we are too much focus on advanced thing while chasing the advanced thing do remember that basics will always help you rather than the advanced things so focus on the basics before you say that i'm really good in this subject make sure that you are good in the basics of that subject not just advanced algorithms or advanced concepts stick number 3 going blank that one silence that one i don't know totally breaks your confidence but of course it is not necessary that you should able to answer all the questions even during my interview i was unable to answer only one question but i answered every single question so whenever you are unable to answer something don't wait or wait for the silence for too long if you don't know something directly say sir i am not aware about it again don't use the sentence called as i don't know because it feels rude instead say sir i am not aware about it but don't wait thinking too much it kills and create the silence which automatically generates unconfidence right mistake number 4 explaining without using the proper technical words you think that you are explaining the answer but where are the technical words where are the conceptual things where are the practical things not at all you are explaining the theory answers 100% students are aware about this theory answer then what is the difference between you and other people create the impact by using the proper technical words i will tell you one thing when you are trying to answer the questions especially technical things try to relate it with the real life example for example if someone ask you may i know what do you mean by polymorphism don't directly tell the definition of polymorphism first say for example if a student go to home he become a son when he come to the college he become a student when he go to the company he become an employee which means single entity is acting differently in different scenarios this is what we call as a polymorphism and then tell the definition of polymorphism right when you try to explain in this way interviewer feels like oh he is trying to relate the technical things with real life things which means he is really good right so let me conclude this video what i am going to say is the interviewer of any company not just tcs but of any company it is not just about the memory it's all about how you will react under pressure how you will react to those things which is given to you for the first time how you will learn and adapt to things quickly these are the things that really matters during a time of interview and in order to master this there is only one thing that will help you that is how good you are in basic fundamentals of your core subjects don't chase the advanced thing don't think about the ai ml at this stage understand the basics understand the core subject that is taking place so now i hope this video has at least helped you or ignited some kind of things in you so that you can get more disciplined and motivated to prepare for any interview so just in case if you are new to our channel do subscribe to the channel for more such informative videos and if you really like this video put in the comment section i understood so that i can come to know that 
people are getting benefited from my videos and i'm helping them to clear their dream companies till then see you in the next video